Hey everyone, this is Aditi Goel, your GDG on campus organizer, and today I'll be walking you through this entire procedure on how you could redeem your credits and get started with JNA Study Jumps. So, first of all, a big congratulations from my side to all the participants who have successfully enrolled into the campaign. And yeah, you should have already received this kind of email on your registered email ID. Please make sure you are not opening your primary email, but rather the new one that you created with your full name dot gdg dot at rate gmail dot com kind of a domain. So you, if you just open it, you could see all the steps that has been mentioned to you already. But I'll still be walking you through this entire procedure, so do not worry at all. So. The first and foremost step you need to do is the URL that has been provided to you. You need to copy it and paste it in a new incognito window. This step is compulsory. Only that particular URL would take you onto your required window and no other URL would uh, do that. So please make sure you are using uh, that particular URL only. Then you are supposed to copy this uh, access code, unique access code that has been provided to you. Please make sure you do not copy any spaces else it would show you an error. So just copy and paste and do the recapture. So I'll just do mine. Just give me a second and we'll quickly get over with it. Okay, so yeah, next we have for the traffic signals. It might take a little while for you. So don't get panic and just submit it. Once we are done, it would take you to this window, right? Once you are right here, you need to do is go and join. Let's go sign in with Google and you need to enter your email id that you used for the registration purpose that for me it was aditi goel dot gdg auh at gmail dot com once i am here i'll enter my password my password was next And once I am being redirected to my page, I'll enter my birth of date of birth information. Please ensure that you are not under the age of 18 because else you would not be able to, you know, uh, work with your further course. So please make sure that you enter your correct DOP that should be above the age of 18 years only. Once I submit it, yeah so here i could see nine credits exactly this is how it should be for you just in case it is not like that and you cannot see your nine credits what you need to do is just log out and try to log in once again all right and it should show you the nine credits please do not proceed without having those nine credits i hope i'm clear so yes once you are sure that you have got your nine credits you can proceed with the first lab that we need to perform that is a tour of google hunts on a lab so basically what you need to do is you need to go to the home page that you would see on the explore or even uh, this is how the dashboard looks like if you go to explore or maybe paths you can see different kind of labs in front of you but what we'll do is we do not uh, most of the time you could see the first lab right here but just in case if you cannot see just like me you could just directly search it a tool of google hands this one this is the first lab that you need to perform in order to redeem the 300 credits if you could just see the details you could read it out all the fundamentals and this would actually help you out you know to get through uh, familiarizing with the entire platform so yes you could read all the details that had been given to you 
and understand the whole of the procedure and once you think you are ready to start with the lab you can uh, begin with it but please make sure that you have some time to complete this lab because once you begin with it you cannot end it before six minutes you have to compulsorily spend six minutes into this lab so once you're here you could just read out all the stuff that has been given to you then we'll start uh, with answering some small quiz questions so the first one i'll start answering it you could just follow along all the answer has been given above Once you are here, we could move on to our first task. As you can see, it states that you need to open the Google Cloud Console, Google Console button, as you have given in the left side, left panel. We will a lot of things would be happening in this Google uh, Console. So please be very mindful. Learn how it's actually done. So what I'll do is I'll copy my username and open this console. Here it would ask you for the email ID. Most of the time it would be self uh, written mentioning here, but just for being safe, I'll mention it here. Just copy this username and paste it here. Please do not enter any other email ID or phone number here. You need to use the one that has been provided to you. Next, I'll copy this password and I just paste it. Moving to the next step, I understand. So yeah, this is how the cloud console looks like. I agree. Agree and continue to the terms and conditions. So you could just look around how it works. So yeah, once we are here, we could test our understanding. So yeah, the first one is. Here you can see in the uh, task to a little explanation about the projects that we uh, work with in the Google Cloud Console. So you can just read through all the details. Then we move on to the task. You could again play with everything that has been mentioned to you, like here it shows a navigation menu, you could just look around the details and view all the projects and stuff. Moving on to the third one, you understand about the different roles as a viewer, as an editor, as an owner. So make sure you are reading the stuff and not just skimming and answering the question as it is. You know, copy paste her because that way you would not be doing any sort of learnings. So yeah, moving forward, I'll be answering the questions. Very basic questions, and they all the answers has been provided to you above. If you read the editorial nicely, in the task board, this is actually your main task where the actual things come up. Where you'll be working with the APIs. So actually Google Cloud APIs are a key part of Google Cloud. So it provides a lot of API services and we'll be working with one of the most crucial ones. So you understand how it works. So what we will do is 
we'll move to our cloud console that we had open earlier go to these uh, this three lines that we call as navigation menu once you are here go to api and services go to library once you are here if you could just move down you could see in the api search bar you need to search for direct flow and then click on the direct flow api so we'll be following it along so i search for direct flow once i'm here it shows me the direct flow api so yeah what next you need to enable this api and see if it's enabled or not so yeah i enable it in case it's already been enabled for you you could disable it and enable it again and that's how it would work for you so yeah, just wait for a couple of seconds and it should be enabled for us so yeah and then we return to the navigation menu click uh, the cloud over we check if it's actually been enabled or not so yeah this is the status it has been showing enabled means we are done so you could just check your progress and yeah, this is how you would gain your first 10 points for this lab and up next understanding or testing your understanding submit so yeah that was all for now so yeah this was all that you have to do in this entire thing and once you can see this 100 or 100 means you are done if you could not see 100 or 100 please click on check my progress and it should work for you it does happen so i hope that was very easy easy so you could just scrim through all the text or everything that has been given to you and it would you should be done from your side so yeah that was all so once you are done here you could end the lab and it is very compulsory for you to give feedback so make sure you do give the feedback comments are optional it's not very necessary so you could skip if you want then submit it and yeah that was all you were supposed to do once i'm done i'll move back to my dashboard so yeah this once i move back you can see i have 309 credits this is what you are supposed to do once you are here means you are done with redeeming your credits so yeah you should see 309 credits as well just in case you could not see the, these credits please do not proceed further instead what you need to do is log out and try to log in again and even if after doing all that you cannot see those credits please do not panic instead wait for 20 to 30 minutes because it does take that much time sometimes considering large inflow of applications at a time and people using the same platform so you could wait for at least 30 minutes and even after that if your issue is not resorted please reach out to me on my personal window so yeah that was all for now and once you're here you are almost done and yeah so you could just go to your inbox and wherever your enrollment email will just check it out and you could if you go to the bottom you could see a syllabus has been provided to you you could just click it and yeah the entire syllabus of your tenure of your study time will open for you so you can start working on the labs like if i just click on this one my first uh, module would open for me so yeah you could just read and work through the labs if you want but i'll be sharing the shortcuts as well just in case you are someone who is more interested in completing the labs and please be sure you are not doing more than 10 labs a day because that will lead to banning your account and trust me you do not want that to be happen secondly we have a jenny arcade game and you have been provided a separate access code please do not work on this for now we have been allotted the almost the last week that is 23rd october to 28th october and we are supposed to be working on the arcade game in that week only please do not touch this game before it it's like uh, we don't want any of your uh, accounts to be suspended or anything right so that was all from our side hope 
entire procedure was easy peasy for you to follow along and yeah good luck with continuing with our study champs